There's no question autonomous machinery is making its way into the agriculture industry. At the World Ag Expo this week, I had a chance to talk with Gary Thompson, Marketing Director for Global Unmanned Spray Systems. We talked about their sprayer project that they've actually been working on for a number of years. Yes, that's correct. We started developing the sprayer in 2014 uh, just to deal with our own labor challenges in our own commercial spraying business. Uh, very challenging to develop this machine. It took us about three and a half years to get it to a point where it was workable. We debuted it at the Tulare Farm Show last year and showed everyone what we've been working on for so long. And right after that, we took four sprayers, started spraying commercially with those, and were able to spray just over 20,000 acres last year with those four machines. Just trying to fine tune it, uh, work any bugs out. Now we're at the point where we're gonna get into production and start sales this year. The user interface allows one person to monitor up to about eight to 10 of these sprayers at a time. And basically he can sit in a pickup or in like a Polaris Ranger on the side of the field with a laptop and he just watches all the sprayers as they're in the field doing their thing. It's important to know that the sprayers are completely, fully autonomous. They are not being controlled by the operator. He's just basically watching them, watching the material rates that they're putting out and just making sure that they're doing their job. As I sat in the pickup truck, closely monitoring my autonomous sprayer via laptop, I quickly realized this in fact could be the future of farming. The folks from Gus were actually taking deposits on sprayers this week at the World Ag Expo. So friends, it won't be long before autonomous sprayers are going to be seen in the Central Valley of California. Reporting on technology for This Week in Agribusiness, I'm Chad Colby.